Hi pilots around the world. <laughs> Welcome to Sweden. It's uh, the first nice spring day in Sweden today, I would say. And uh, of course we take the opportunity to put in some flying this Sunday morning. Uh, I have the small Yak 130 with a 70 mm 12 blade fans in it. The fan it's one. So I fly it on 4S and I really enjoy this. It's uh, so quiet and still very powerful. So stop talking, go out and fly. Yeah, follow me. Welcome to Sweden again and a small review of uh, my latest EDF model. It's the Jark 130 and uh, from Freewing. I think you recognize it. I really like this clear red color on it. And uh, what I like most, it's in fact the behavior of it. This is the 70 millimeter EDF size so it's a small model light but it really flies great I would say and it's possible to improve the flight performance a little bit more uh, today I'm flying the, the 4s model in fact I have the 6s model too in my garage but uh, I like the light load in this uh, 4s setup and uh, I fly it either with 3300 milliamps 4S batteries or like in this case I use uh, a cheap uh, 
model of batteries that you use in a lot of application the 2200 I think it is let's take a look and uh, what I do is that I put them parallel so this is 4400 milliamps I carry with me up and I really get a lot of fly time normally I fly around six minutes on this so that's a, a great combination too and those batteries I have all the way back in the battery compartment what I found out more is also that you could uh, uh, put in some ailerons mixed with the rudder so you have the opposite aileron comparing to the rudder you put in because when you want to make some kind of four point roll or something on the last 90 degrees it really rolls out when you compensate with a rudder so a little bit of opposite aileron there will be really great the air brakes works great and I also have the mix for the uh, rudder uh, what's a end point adjustment in the landing gear switch so when I have take off done the takeoff and I take the gear in I get less rudder uh, true on each side because I need a little bit more when I taxi around on the ground but up in the air you need so little rudder and to make these nice rolls and so on so uh, impressive behavior I also just got the, the gyro for this plane you see it wiggle a little bit on the wings sometimes and I think that will look even nicer when I have the gyro inside it and I think I will put it on the wall so I use it for rudder and ailerons rudder on the landing and the takeoff so it goes straight and nice and ailerons in there that will be a perfect setup at least for me of course you can add a lot of lead on this and that makes it even more nice to look at and I have also put on those uh, add-ons uh, landing gear that gives you a little bit more flexibility in if you make a hard landing uh, I fly it mostly on grass so I have even made some uh, say brackets between the landing gear and uh, the frame so the wheels the main wheels are a little bit more forward and I had to uh, work a little bit with the scissor uh, round here to open up a little bit more but if I put the wheels a little bit more forward I have less load on the front wheel and that's good on the takeoff when you want to rotate and put it up in the air you don't need so much speed to have enough force on the elevator so that's something I'm very happy with and it's possible to to make really nice landing with a plane nose up and it looks great on the approach so with small improvements you have a really nice bird and I really recommend you to try this bird out it's a great Sunday flyer take care have fun yeah thank you for watching this small flight video uh, I found out something when I went home and that was uh, you know always put on Loctite on the screws for the landing gear is on when you are especially on hard surface like asphalt it vibrates and you find out where you have cheated a little bit so use Loctite and fly even more